Recently, we've completed an update to the transfer of wealth analysis. The numbers are huge. More than $600 billion is going to transfer from one generation to the next to the next 50 years. In rural Nebraska in particular, this is an incredibly important moment because we know that more than $230 billion is going to transfer from one generation to the next in many of these rural places. In rural Nebraska, where we've really lost people over time, this opportunity is huge because as young people have grown up, moved away for other opportunities, they're no longer living where their parents live. And when they left, we lost that human resource. But when those parents pass away, if those young people aren't truly motivated to give back to the hometown where they grew up, we're not only going to have lost that human resource, we will have lost the financial capital as well. And the Nebraska Community Foundation is built on the theory that communities must build themselves. We must use community assets to build the future of that place. Helping local leaders to help themselves is at the crux of the mission of the Nebraska Community Foundation. We build skills and confidence and we use lots and lots of peer learning to help community leaders understand how to take advantage of these opportunities. We understand that talking to people about giving back is a challenging thing to do. The Nebraska Community Foundation helps make this easier for community leaders to do. We know at the end of the day that people give to people. And especially in our smaller communities, we have these long-standing trusting relationships that have happened for decades. What we've helped dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of community leaders to do is to become comfortable talking with their friends and neighbors about the difference they can make in the future of their hometown by including that community, including that special place in their estate plan. We've seen the numbers grow tremendously over the years. The Nebraska Community Foundation now works with community leaders in about 230 places around the state. Uh, we now have more than 40 million in assets that have been endowed for the future of these communities and another 40 million in planned gifts that when those people pass away, those gifts will become endowments to sustain the future of these communities. These endowments are going to be a margin of excellence for the future of our hometowns. Things that will make the difference in K-12 education, health care, technology, economic development, and most importantly, building communities that are attractive to young families. Young families are the future. We know that this is incredibly important. We know that with information technology, we can live and work wherever we want to live and work. So why not in my hometown? Why not raise my kids near my parents? Charitable giving and building philanthropic endowments creates an opportunity for communities to build those places that are attractive to young families.